Hey guys, today's video is a bit peculiar because this coronavirus situation is terrible. It's uh, It really sucks. I mean, I have friends who have caught the virus, I have friends who have lost family members, and so yeah, it's a shitty situation and I want to do my part to help. And I'm urging you to do yours as well. So I'm going to show you how to make masks, uh, I mean, or at least protections. And uh, I'm going to make two types of protections, one myself and one in partnership with my uh, engineering school because they're making um, filtered masks out of uh, scuba diving masks. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show you how to do this and if you have a 3D printer, I urge you to do the same. So I've got two printers that are going to take care of the masks, so that's uh, two times five masks. And this printer is gonna take care of the straps for the masks. So I'm gonna be able to make about um, 10, uh, 10 masks every 14 hours and a half. Now I'm gonna be using uh, these uh, PEG-G filaments that I have uh, from a while back, as well as all of these PLA filaments and these right there. And uh, now, I, I got them for free from 3 dj because they were sponsoring my videos, but they're also making a 10% coupon code that you can use. It's Greg3D10, it's in the description below, and you can use it to get cheaper filaments so that you can print other masks. So please don't hesitate to do this. So I couldn't find any 200 micron uh, plastic sheets, so what I took are mm, uh, laminating sheets and I bought a laminating machine to uh, just laminate them without any paper in between, that way uh, it's, it's actually just going to make a transparent uh, 125 micrometer sheet of plastic and that should do it. I've already printed about 30 of those, uh, four of which I already gave because uh, they were needed quite urgently. And um, I also printed some uh, some straps right there, which are pretty cool. The the method, well, it's just like one small rectangle here that goes inside another one, and then you just turn it, twist it around, to make sure it's locked in place. So that's uh, it's it's a way to have a strap, an adjustable strap, without having tension on your head when you are wearing the mask, because this can be really, you know, uh, bothersome after a day. Uh, also, the good thing is I can control my printers from away, and I know that this one is finished. So I just sent a few straps to produce again. So I'm I'm producing about ten at a time, and uh, yeah, same as these. I can produce about twenty masks every twelve uh, every every day. Twenty masks every day. So let me just show you how this works. So I, I chose the crocodile version. So I don't know if you can see this. This version has like kind of teeth. Um, right there, and what you, what happens is they uh, they actually help uh, maintain the plastic inside. So when you're assembling it, uh, essentially you're gonna try to push the plastic in between the teeth, just like this, and maybe wiggle it around until it gets completely inside those. And what happens is that just this uh, structure makes it possible to uh, to maintain the plastic sheet inside the the mask without having to add screws or anything. So as you can see, this is one mask assembled. I also found a nice method to help get the plastic in there faster. You actually just hold it like this and slide it down inside the, the crocodile teeth thing. And uh, it's, it's actually quite fast. You just have to move it around and slide it. And, uh, and yeah, once, once that's done, all you have to do is put the clips in, uh, these clips right there, inside the mask, uh, the other way around, like this, and same on the other side, like this. So that once that's done, all you have to do is to place the rectangular piece where you want it to be, and then just turn the, the two parts in order to finish and complete the, the visor. The reason why this is so important is because 
not only is it comfortable to work, so you don't have a strap pulling on your head all the time, but it also helps uh, protect you from projections and help you know reduce the spread of coronavirus. So now I just have to assemble about a hundred of those, and I'm gonna bring them to a pharmacy because I actually spoke to a nurse. And, uh, and she said that the pharmacy are basically the distributors of these masks. Also, I had an update from the teacher in my old engineering school, and it turns out uh, they won't be needing my help because they completely finished everything, so that's great. So I'm at the pharmacy with about 30 or 40 um, face shields basically. Uh, so again, for the makers out there, please make some for the medical staff wherever you live. Uh, it's extremely important and for the others, don't hesitate to help out uh, the people who are making them and you know, stay safe, stay confined and I will see you guys in the next video. Like the